Let's quickly help you understand what you're supposed to do for the notes uh, query for your tree notes. If you look at hints, you're really meant to do an, an, an order traversal of the tree so that for the binary search tree case, you will get a sorted sequence or sorted list of the notes uh, sorted according to their keys. Let's just do one example very quickly, right? So now let's say this, how can we do that? So if I want to do any order traversal starting from the root over here, what I need to do is I need to do I need to do the in order traversal for its left subtree over here, and then whatever the in order traversal of this is followed by four. Okay, so now this is unknown. Okay, and then it's going to be also followed by the in order traversal of its right subtree. Okay, and now we have to work out what will be the in order traversal for this particular green subtree. So now it's going to be again the root for this particular subtree is two. So now I know that I should put two over here, and then it's going to be preceded by the in order traversal for this particular subtree, which is of size one. So that'll be the base case. So that that will just be one. And then the in order traversal for the right subtree should follow the root over here. So that's also the base case of size one. So that should be three over here. Okay. So you can see the left subtree of four has been done recursively already. So now we can simply put four, and now we can do a uh, recursive uh, recursive uh, walk through for the right subtree uh, for uh, for four. Okay, let me use a better color over here. Let's use red over here. So what we'll do is the root is over here. So seven conceptually will be put here. What precedes that will be an in order traversal for its right, uh, left subtree, which is over here, right? And for that one, the root is simply just six. So six will be here. And then what precedes that will be the in order traversal of its left subtree, which will be five, right? So five followed by six, and there's no right subtree for six. So it was simply uh, just empty. So now we'll follow seven directly. And then similarly, when you do the in order traversal for eight and nine, and then you simply do the root, and there's no left subtree, right? There's no. So it's going to be followed by its uh, right uh, in order traversal on its left uh, right subtree over here. So that's that will be the uh, eventual uh, notes uh, list over here. You have to return for that particular routine. Of course, the way I'm describing it, I try to be very abstract over here because recursion is something you're supposed to know from the second year. I just want to review very quickly what in order traversal really means. And the way I describe about, for example, in order to print this uh, in order uh, traversal out root should be preceded by the in order result of the left subtree and also the in order result for the right subtree is simply uh, just how recursion will work uh, at the runtime so hopefully that's a good enough hints for you and this one more thing I would like to just remind you remember the way we represent the internal nodes that is kind of at the bottom uh, of that particular level by saying for example let's say over here for one uh, its left child should be an external nodes, its right child also should be external nodes. And similarly, for three over here, also for five over here, and for the six, and for eight, and also for nine over here. So that should be the more complete picture uh, in at the runtime. So when you do the in order traversal, the actual base case should be the external nodes over here. So when you reach the external nodes in your in order traversal, you know that you should really uh, do nothing. So that's as if you try to return. And then, uh, of course, external notes should not appear in the notes list that you actually return. You should only return uh, internal notes in the list.